Hey there, it's Monkey. We're picking up where we left off in our Shogun 2 playthrough. At the end of last episode, we had just declared war on the Sakai and moved our army into a province. I was hoping to capture an unoccupied castle, but it turns out that the Daimyo's full army is right next to it. So we've got a big fight on our hands. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. All right, well, let's take the opportunity to, to do it this way. We're just going to go in and hit the keep. It should be... Let me double check my, my numbers here. I think I have room for one more unit. But I th th these guys just exhausted all their movements, so we're going to take a chance and hit their castle. Okay, his lord's right there. Okay. Well, I, I've, I've, I, yeah, I want to take the least amount of casualties. If he had not been adjacent to the castle, if he had started moving up towards uh, Owari, then I would have just overrun the castle and put Kitapatake in there, and then problem solved kind of thing. He, he, his army would have been kicked completely out, like over to some other province probably, but back into one of his provinces or something. But since uh, he's here and we're here, I'm going to have to fight the battle. I'm going to quick save it because I can and then we're gonna see I feel like this is battle balance power says it's oh man he's got yeah okay it was uh snowing first and we decided to wait so we're gonna start deployment now I just I don't want the extra fatigue or the, the slower fatigue recovery So, if we rush the keep, we can maybe burn the gates, I don't care about that, but slaughter the, the, the garrison up there, and then, this guy's as far forward as possible, um, I think I want to come in from. I want to. I want to make it as easy a run as possible, or whatever to 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 get over. That's fine. We'll we'll go this way. Um, due due to where their army was, their army was to the northeast basically. So I think they're they're going to be coming in from over this way, even though we've got that big body of water that's probably just like a lake or whatever the deal is. But um, so we want to. We have plenty of expendable units here. Not that I want to expend them per se, but uh, I, I do want to get some troops up to the... Uh, what's this called? The Tenshu. I want to get some troops up there and capture it so we can basically win on on that ground. But if we can draw them, if we can draw them them over, you know, they're, particularly their generals. If we can get rid of their general, their daimyo, um, that would be, that'd be amazing as well. Okay, so where is our, here we go, Yari, Samurai. So I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him down at this end, is what I wanna do. Uh, there, and then. It, it just keeps, it just keeps moving him. Okay, at least he's at, that's great. There. The reason why I want him on that end is if if his general is over this way, we that's a, a unit that we can can rush with. Um, so they have their rapid advance. So that'll allow us to like sprint him up. If, if for some reason he's not, then we, you know they can. We could also use rapid advance to to cross over the other way. Uh, I'm gonna put my general over here just in case. Uh, if if they do come out this way, I'm gonna try to see if I can't draw. Uh, draw them over toward I guess, in this direction. I guess have them chase my general. But the most important thing is to kind of get one of these gates. I don't care about burning the gates because again we're going to install a vassal in here. So I don't care about destroying the gates to get in. Um, I do care about getting these guys up there as fast as possible. And then 
yeah, here they come. They're 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 in this area, so we're gonna put our general right in their way and see if we can't distract them while our other units run. And then I guess we've got this guy hanging out here already, so we're just gonna bring them that way. Same thing with this guy. If we can somehow trick them into chasing... chasing our general into the trees here, that would be sweet. If not, then we'll still try to catch them before they can get to the... get to the keep or get to our bows. Well, guess I guess I'm getting my wish. They're not, they're not all dead yet, though. But we'll extricate this guy. Again, these are our expendable troops, basically. 21%. Hmm. Might as well bring these guys in. Try to grab these dudes right now. Here we go. Alright, we're just gonna run our general kind of away. Now, well, that's painful, but... That doesn't matter. general okay <laughs> i was trying to figure out what was going on there uh so we won so we're gonna end the battle we we did take a bunch of damage but that should have taken out his uh his daimyo and his general And then we're going to make uh, Kitapatake a vassal, and I think making him a vassal will kick them out. Yeah, 
So that totally kicked them out of the province. It might have sent them back to Wakasa. That's their closest province. I don't think it would have stuck them in, in any of my other borders. And problem solved. It doesn't matter that we burned the, uh, that we burned the keep. We're going to go here to Diplomacy, and we're going to make uh, Kedipatake, who's now very friendly towards us for reinstating him. We're going to get trade, and they shouldn't really have any money. So we, we can't get any money out of them for that trade agreement, but uh, it'll be a trade agreement nonetheless, like just looking at, you know, we're at 4203 right now, and I don't know if it'll kick in with the estimate, but... My friend, I'm ready to... Um, see, I don't think there's anybody else to trade with at this point that we're not trading with. Yeah, we've got trade deals with everybody, except for the Imagawa and the Kiso, who are still unfriendly. I'm not even going to try that. So 43.50 now. Um, that should be a little, a little better. So we're getting 236 out of them, and they gave us a unit that we can add to our army. It's a, uh, it's a Oda Long Yari Ashigaru. I don't know how they managed to train that, but it is what it is. And then, um, since it appears he's not in our, uh, in that domain anymore, if he was kicked up to Wakasa, that means he's either going to go after Omi or after Echizen. But the other thing of note is that with Kitabatake as a vassal to us, it we still only hold eight provinces. So uh, now the vassal will count towards our 25 provinces, capture and hold 25 provinces. We don't need to own straight away 25 provinces, but we can have them through vassals as well. Uh, also, it doesn't increase um, on, a, on a short campaign. Making someone a vassal doesn't increase your fame as much as taking over the, the uh, province itself uh, adds to your fame. So normally on a, on a short game, you're going to get six fame each time you capture a province and, and, and make it your own province that you control. But vassals are only worth four fame instead. Now on a long campaign, it's five, and on a domination campaign, it's four. So it's even on a domination campaign. But on a short campaign, they're only worth four. So you can have a larger combination of vassals and provinces together before you um, before you hit hit that that fame sort of trigger. This is another way get, getting. This is why I said before getting to getting about fifteen provinces. So 15 times 6 is 90, plus you're going to get fame from, from other things, uh, is going to kick you over that that fame score that's going to cause Realm Divide uh, at any rate. You, don't, you, you only win by having 25 provinces. You're going to have Realm Divide typically before you would get to 25 provinces. But the more vassals you have, the easier it is to, to pull this off. Uh, and they're going to have their own stack of, of units that they're going to build up. They've got their own general. Uh, and, and, you know, apparently they have a daimyo and an heir, and this is either a general or some other, you know, kind of unit. So they might have two or three generals in their army, and they're going to build up their own stack that we don't have to pay for to defend this piece of border with us. Eventually, they may turn on us when we get close to, like, Realm Divide or whatever, but they're not going to turn on us right now. Uh, and eventually, H Hatakayama may declare war on them and want to come in and attack them. That's That's another matter as well. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with both of those when they, when they happen. Um, if we look at the relationship there, I don't see, there's no negative relationship between the Kitabatake and, the, and Harakayama at this point. So we'll see how, how it goes when the, when the turns progress. So, you know, we did lose a few units, but we also, some units got some XP, um, our, our daimyo got a little bit of experience as well, and now rather than losing troops to winter, we're we're gaining we're gaining troops. So we're going to put this uh, long uh, yari in with Nobunaga, and then I guess we're going to continue to swing to swing our troops to the north. Now we should have free passage through our vassals' territory here um, because they're our vassal. We get to we get to walk through their grounds as much as we feel like. Um, but we're we're gonna run out of, of passage through uh, Hatakeyamas, so we're not gonna go back that way anyway. We're gonna swing up this way because, like I said, he may be coming down into 
Omi. Now, he did just lose his Daimyo and a general, so maybe he's he's going to wait until he rebuilds that army. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, we can pull 12 guys out of here. In a few turns, we'll be able to pull some more out. We are getting... Hmm, trying to decide whether or not to pull. We don't have enough movement to really pull an army out of there anyway. So... The other thing we could do is we could recruit temporarily a couple units in Omi, but they're just going to be kind of crappy by comparison. You know, some single skill uh, Yari. Let me let me think about that for a minute. Yeah. Some other thing to note is that because we established a vassal, we got plus one to our honor. So getting Getting your honor up higher is going to mean you're going to get better deals with the other daimyos. They're going to respect you more. It's also going to give you a little more leeway in doing certain things. You know, breaking a treaty to uh, declare a war normally is going to lo lose you honor. So if you have a lot of honor, um, you know, this this looks like the cap would be six. You can actually go a little bit above six as far as that goes. But, but you will have that sort of buffer to be able to do some less than honorable things if you need to but generally speaking getting some getting your honor up there by establishing some vassals uh does not hurt it, it'll it'll only help your ability to to get the other clans to sort of give you more room to operate uh let's see so we're good i think we're good in all of our other provinces as far as development goes I think I think I'm going to spend two, you know, 230 Koku if it buys me enough defenses against uh, an invasion. Then I, I might as well do it. I think chances are I should be able to next turn with my army. I should be able to go and hit him in Wakasa anyway. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I think I've done everything that needs to be done. Let me just make sure that I don't have any. Uh, Metsuke or anything that need to be upgraded. I, th I don't think so. They, they've all been, they've all been upgraded. Once I get another, once I get that other market built, I'll buy, I'll buy my last Metsuke. All right, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I had a ninja that I wanted to move there. That's okay. He's got lots of boats out there, Hojo does. <clears throat> yep. Oof. Coming in with a another general. One of our sea trade routes is under attack from an enemy fleet. All right, well, that that blockade doesn't mean too much to me. To I I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to build ships to to try to stop this, you know, to try to stop this port blockade. He, he he's got, you know, six boats. No, I'm not. I'm not super concerned about it. Actually, I think I might be able to hit this guy. I can't really bring out my entire army in that direction. Let me see what I can what I can bring up from this end. Hmm. Well, let me double check that he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have a skill rank yet. And then I want to double check the diplomacy just to make sure that okay they're still they seem to still be on neutral neutral terms as far as that goes. Um, okay. Well, we have eleven public order. So we could pull 11 units out of here. I, I mean, that's really, that's enough really to take him out anyway. I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you know, he's at least got a bow samurai. Um, it looks like he's got a one-star general in there. But we've got guys with armor and accuracy, so we're going to take... Now, the only problem is if he brings a follow-up army in, so I guess I guess there's that, but I don't think we can get... Yeah, we can't get our daimyo close enough. That's all right, though. 
we have these guys that we can bring in from the other side. And we have all kinds of... Let me double check here. We're reopening that. We have all kinds of public order here, so we can take uh, all four of these troops out. And just kind of put them... We're not going to attack with them, but we're going to put them... Should be able to put him right here. <clears throat> and then I said I can pull 11 out of here. Yeah, 11. So two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot, a lot of melee. Um, I'm going to drop one of those for the for the bow. Yeah. Because we're going to have, I mean, this is going to be a stiff line as it is, and we have these other uh, these are all Yari Ashigaru here as well. So we're just going to take this full complement. I don't I don't think we can actually hit him. It doesn't look like we can actually hit him, but we can we can get his, well, actually we probably can hit him by popping our general out. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that, that works too. All right. So we're in range of both of our, both of those armies there. Uh, I guess he could end around us now and, and hit Omi. That's the only drawback of that. And we definitely... Whew! What happened here? New Daimyo. Yeah. So we could put these guys in harm's way, I suppose. <clears throat> Hold on. Now that, I see his, now that I see his army here... So these guys could be uh, sacrificial to force him to, with this with this coverage here, let me see. Because if he attacks this guy, we, we can win off of the stack that we have over here. Um, but if we sit right here, he won't be able to attack us. He won't be able to take Omi from us, is basically the plan. He's going to have to hit our army first, and that's going to deplete his movement enough that he won't be able to to get in there. And then we're just going to make sure we have bows being recruited. We got two more turns there. Um, we're not... We already talked about the rice exchange. And then in this situation, we've got one more turn until Jiu-Jitsu, two more for the Master Armor. So it's going to be... Oops, not these guys. Yeah, it is. It's going to be two more of these guys. And money's looking good. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do in these provinces. There's no point in upgrading roads, for example, in Iga. It's such a, such a tiny road, right? Omi's already got roads going up. Um, there's no point eat, eating up all of our food as far as that goes. The province happiness we could do. But it's not going to... The wealth isn't going to matter. And right now, it doesn't... We already pulled all the troops out. We're, we have enough order... That that's not a not an issue for us, and the Ikuiki, Once that goes away, we'll have we'll have even better order situations. We'll lose that other minus one there. All right, I think that's it for now. Um, I just want to see. <clears throat> yeah, we should be fine. <clears throat> oh yeah, got to move our ninjas here. Just want to get an idea of like what Imagawa is doing. Okay, nothing. He's not really doing anything. Thought maybe he would have a. How long before this guy levels? Eighteen out of twenty. <clears throat> hmm. Nine out of forty. Okay. 
And then we've got uh, a ninja over here too. I'm just gonna bring him back this way. I guess I could have sent him back through Tajima and Tango, but there's another road over here that I can circle back through. All right. And we didn't meet anybody new, so we I think we're good to go. Oh, Hojo already... I, I must not have had my ninja there. That's not Imagawa. That's Hojo. Hojo took Imagawa out. Oh. Well. Didn't see that coming. Um... Yeah, I guess I, I guess it must have been done under the cloud of fog. So there's no Imagawa anymore, so I don't have to worry about the the war declaration out of that. Um, wow, this guy kind of backed himself into the wrong corner here. So I can't get Oda up there. That's okay, though. I, I am a little bit worried about... Uh, this guy coming in and messing with our ally, you know, messing with our vassal, but it's going to be it's going to be what it's going to be, I suppose. Alright, so this guy is going to reclaim his army and then head up towards Obama. This is going to be a long, a long walk here. Okay, we discovered the Miyoshi. I don't know if we can, we'll be able to trade with him or not, but I'm going to get that out of the way now when I think about it. Cannot, because we do not have, I should go back here, right here. Ports of my home province are full capacity, so we would need more, we would need more trading ports. We would either need uh, an adjacent trading port, like perhaps here, so that we could bring it in and then take it over land or, or here. Either of these ones would work uh, if we could add a trade node to it. And then, but this is already... Oh no, we could, yeah, we could, we could upgrade this. I think we could upgrade this into a, a trade port and then that would allow us to, to trade. The only other way would be a direct overland route, which we're not going to get with these guys anyway. Okay, so this is probably going to cause them to run. Maybe they'll retreat back in this direction, I'm not sure. Or they'll just run off into the into the mountains up there. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll head up this way. This will be nice too because then we can start Picking up some of these good troops, we'll, we'll maybe start dumping, um, we'll start dumping the completely inexperienced troops to be just sort of garrisons in Etches and Kaga uh, until eventually we can just get rid of them, get get them off of our plate cost-wise, and just kind of have everybody replaced. But we're also going to take. Yeah, we're going to put him back into here, and then. We could knock him off of this province up here. If we go and look at the regions map, um, that that did belong to Sakai originally, so taking that province means that it would become our province for sure. I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, it's a, a meager soiled territory, but the... I'm not really sure what the options are at this point. You know, I can't... If if I could... If it was his last province and I could, you know, reinstall him as a, as a vassal, that would work too. But I don't think... I don't think they're prepared to surrender at this point either. Speak your yeah. They, they don't want that yet. I've got, to, I've got to knock off more of their dudes. So, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... a little bit of an exposed province now up here, but 
I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back up here to potentially defend Etch's End. There's, he can't get an army down here to attack Oda anyway. And then, or uh, Nobunaga. And then, uh, and then once I wipe that guy out, I'll, I'll bring Oda up here and we'll start making some, some other troop transfers. I guess we'll fold we'll fold this army in just so he's got a bigger piece of pie. Uh let's see then. Well I guess I'll bring this guy back. Um he's got a ninja already. He does not. So we'll just establish a spy network in Tatomi here, just to keep an eye on the Hojo, and so that this guy can get a little more XP. He's at 18 to 20, so should be able to, to rank up pretty soon. And then we've already moved this ninja over here, so that would be our other, our other scout out in the field. The Jujutsu Dojo is finished, and we've got one more turn till that market. So now, our... Ashigaru, Long Ashigaru, everybody, they've got a, a bonus to melee attack as well. So that's the bronze little uh, symbol there, the sword symbol for improved melee. And obviously we have superior armor. Yeah, I think it will still be, even once we are done upgrading the smithy here, I think it will still only be superior armor. I think you only get um, the gold armor if we had done both both the camp and whatever. We'll... we'll We'll see. I, I don't quite recall, but we'll see if that's the case. Um, we don't need to do any other upgrades in this in this region yet. We don't need to do any upgrades here as well. Like I said, we're not going to be doing rice exchanges. So really, at this point, it's recruiting better units. We're going to recruit uh, two more. Next turn is when we're going to start doing the the long yari. We're going to do. We're going to recruit pretty heavily those guys. Once they get the full the full upgrade here, um, and at at this point, well, I'm gonna we're gonna click on end turn, see how things shake out with these guys, and then we're gonna then we're gonna talk what our next steps are gonna be. <clears throat> they have a pretty pretty sizable army. Okay. All right, so where we're sitting at is the Sakai are doing a pretty good job of trying to mess with things, but not, not good enough. We re-vassalized uh, Kitabatake down here, and we basically have these, these armies to, to take out. This guy's kind of stuck here, so he's going to be... We're just going to run him down with our daimyo. Uh, this guy has no general, but he's got... It looks like probably a large amount of uh, samurai. So that'll be a, 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 a sizable army, but we have two armies that we're basically going to be able to to hit him with, or we'll move those two armies up to engage him, and then he'll retreat back into Wakasa, which might also happen. But I think once we end up taking out his daimyo and that second army, that he's going to be ready to sue for peace, give us a lot of koku, and then just leave us alone for a bit. And that way we don't have to take over these some of these crappy territories. I mean, Tango may not be so bad. Uh, you know, well, no, meager soil, barren soil. Some of these are just really bad. There, there's a couple, you know, there might be some iron. Uh, no, th these guys actually don't have iron. It's the uh, uh, Amako that are, uh, that are trading with us already that have, that have that. So these are just some really bad territories. Like if I go back up to this province map, you can kind of see that, you know, like I said, meager, meager, barren, and there's no special resources on these provinces. These are all really good vassal resource, uh, vassal provinces. So, you know, Wakasa. If I did, if I did take Wakasa, I might take it over and move my army out. Let let it flip into rebellion and let them stick some sort of a lord in there, and then I would just make peace with them or or for maybe force them to become my vassal through threat. Um, and then, you know, 
these other ones I can't I can't force uh, Sakai. Actually, where is maybe this is maybe this was Sakai's only original one. Yeah, but if I but if I take the next province over, the Taka Takaoka, they that province I could make a vassal, and and not have to worry about controlling it. Same thing with the next one over is the Yamana. So I could be vassalizing these guys and then not have to worry about it. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll just go past, uh, I'll take these armies out, go past Wakasa into Tango, and then uh, that's what's going to happen. Also now, we're, we're going to be to the point where we start heavily recruiting. I mean, we've already been somewhat heavily recruited, but now we're going to start switching to the Oda uh, Longyari as far as, the, as far as that goes to, to bulk out sort of the sides of our armies and retooling, you know, getting rid of a bunch of these skillless troops in exchange for, I mean, yeah, look at these guys. They're going to have, so now a basic Yari, even that I recruit, is going to have five armor, nine morale, nine attack, seven defense, right? The long Yari, nine morale, 10 attack, seven defense, six armor. And, you know, the 30 bonus versus cavalry, that's what the long Yari come with. So, Compare that to my current guys, which are eight, five, five, three, and two armor. So three more armor and two more attack baked in to just the the, the blanket the the blanket recruits. And yeah, I'm sorry, I said ten attack, <laughs> ten attack versus five attack. So twice as much attack. So uh, ridiculously powerful units that I'm going to be recruiting up in here. And that's the only place I'm going to be recruiting from. You know, at this point, really what I will probably want to do is, is get some of these... Un I'll we'll deal with this next episode. I already kind of I already kind of blew through what I wanted to to uh, to deal with. So, thanks for watching. I always appreciate uh, the, the views I get. Uh, thumbs up helps my channel a whole lot. Subscribing also helps my channel a whole lot. I want to try to get up to the point where I can actually monetize the channel instead of giving YouTube all of the money. Uh, thank you for hanging out. It, don't forget if you have any questions about like, you know, what I'm doing or any suggestions or anything like that, feel free to, to throw a comment down there below. Also helps out my channel. So I'll see you next time. Take care.